Okay, um, hello everyone. All right, so in the last video we talked about the new line character, right? And I mentioned that there are other escape sequences. All right, so we know that for for a, for for the escape sequence, so it's an it's an escape sequence, right? Meaning something follows another thing, something started, and the other thing follows it, right? We know that. If we wanted a new line character, we have to we type in the backslash n. And when I compile this and I run it, it this as soon as it gets, as soon as the program gets here, the interpreter gets here, it's going to break the line from, from where it's at to the next line. So when I run this, we can see how it's displayed. It got here, printed a space, got here, broke the line, printed a space, and then displayed line. We know that's how it works. Okay. Let's go back to where we were. Now, assuming we wanted to, we, we, we really wanted a backslash in our statement. We just wanted it printed. Now, we know that this system that other print ln statement prints whatever is in between the quotation marks, right? So we expect it to print first line, back, uh, space, backslash, space, line, right? It, it makes sense, right? Because that's what it's supposed to do. When I compile this, guess what happens? It says over here, illegal escape character. Now, why, why is it saying that? I'm just telling you to print a backslash. Because the backslash is a special character, right? It's a special character that expects something to follow it. And that, and that thing that follows it has a special purpose. It's a command, right? As soon as you type in the backslash, as soon as you type it in your, in your, in your string, on your print statement, it's expecting something to follow it. It's expecting something to follow it. It's expect, expecting a special character that does something to follow it. So because you, you included a backslash here, and what followed it was a space. You can, you can see that it's a space. It's saying this space that follows me is an illegal escape character. It's saying, hey, as soon as you call me the backslash, whatever comes after me should be something that I understand. If I don't understand it, I'm going to complain. And that's what it's complaining. It's complaining and saying, hey, this space that is following me I don't understand it. So give me something that I understand. All right. And we know that the new line character, oh, sorry, the, the letter N is something that, it, that is something that it understands. So as soon as you type in the N, it says, okay, I understand this N. Now you're talking. Now I can, now this backslash, and now because I understand it, we both mean that, or basically I'm just saying we both because I'm just, I'm just trying to be funny. But it says, okay, now I understand this N. So I'm going to go ahead and, and process all of us and, 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 and that means that, is, you know, I'm going to go ahead and create a line here. Move the position from where it's at to the next line. And then anything that comes after me is going to be displayed on that next line. So the space and the line is going to be displayed on that, on that next line, like we saw it, right? So it's a problem. Now, what if we wanted to display a backslash on the screen? Now, even if, now if I remove this and I compile it and I run this, it's working fine. No backslash. What if I really wanted a backslash? And, to, to be displayed. Compile this. It says illegal escape character, right? Because this space is not a, a, um, a, a, a real car character. But let's go ahead and remove the space and com com compile again. It's still saying th this is an illegal escape character because the L that follows this backslash is saying, hey, I don't understand this L. This L is not one of the special characters that do you know, certain things or that, that, that do something or make something happen complaining. He said, hey, if you, as soon as you call me the backslash, give me something I understand. Okay. So, one of the other escape sequences is the backslash itself. Okay. The backslash itself, it's an escape sequence. So, over here, it's, it was complaining that, okay, you've called me the backslash. Now, make sure that Anything that follows me is something that makes sense. It's something that causes something to happen. We, 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 it, it complained about a space. It complained about the letter L. It said, L, I don't understand you. The backslash itself is, is an escape character, and it causes something to happen. So it says, okay, now I understand this backslash. Anytime it, anytime it sees a backslash, it prints it on the screen. That's all it does. If it sees a backslash, it's one of the special escape um, characters. So you are starting an escape sequence here, and you're saying, okay, Show me something. It's saying, okay, show me something that makes sense. All right, show me something that makes sense. You call, you call the backslash here. It's saying, okay, you, uh, show, uh, now give me any, anything that follows me has to make sense, has to really do something. 
So it sees a backslash and says, okay, now I know what this is. Now this makes sense. I know what to do with it. Anytime it sees the backslash, it causes it to be printed on the screen. That's all. So now this causes one backslash to be printed on the screen. This is, a, this is an escape sequence. You started it. And this is an escape special character. This one is an escape special character. And anytime it sees this, this um, a backslash following it, it just prints it on the screen. Think of it, the backslash as an escape, um, a special escape character. Well, one is to start the sequence and one is the, the special character. The backslash is always, always starts the sequence. So if I wanted to do a new line like we did, backslash n, it says, okay, backslash n. It says, okay, I understand this n. What it does is, I'm going to, uh, what, I'm going, what I'm supposed to do now is to basically create a new line. Okay, now I understand this backslash. It says, okay, I understand this backslash. What I'm supposed to do is, ju is to just print it. That, that's its purpose. So when I, when I compile this, it's not complaining anymore because it's saying, okay, you called me at the escape sequence. Make sure anything that follows me makes sense. And, and this is, a spe it is, is one of the special escape characters, right? I sp I'm supposed to name this other escape characters, right? But it makes sense to also say sequences. Um, so when you do this, you're starting the sequence. Anything that follows follows it has to be a special character, and indeed this this is. Anytime this follows a backslash, it, it's printed on the screen. That that's it, its purpose. The, the same way the end creates a new line to happen, this creates a backslash to be printed. So when I run this, compile this, and I run it, we can see that it's displaying this. Now this is to start the escape sequence, and this is to just cause it to be printed on the screen. Okay, another escape sequence is the, the single quotation right now we know that if you type in something let's say an l it's going to complain and say i don't know this l when i compile this is saying hey this l that follows me is an illegal escape character make sure it's something that makes sense it doesn't understand it it knows that n makes sense so it's saying okay now n makes sense it's saying okay the backslash is also a special character i'm going to print it it, you know th that's what it's supposed to do or that that's its purpose so i'm going to compile this and run it and, and it's and it's 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 fine now it's saying okay give me more it's, it's saying give me more G give me things that make sense okay another escape um, one of the special characters also is a single quotation and anytime a single quotation follows a backslash that is caused you know it, it co you know it's 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 just printed on the screen the single quotation is printed on the screen so when i compile this and i run this we can see the single quotation is printed, right? So we can see it's printed here. Another another one is, is a double quotation. Now, let me, let me remo remove this for a second. If I type in the double quotation here like this, you, you, you realize what's happening. Let's say I just wanted to print a double quotation in the string like this. You can see that even the color, the color you know, coding is changing. Now think about this for a second. Before you print a string literal, right, a string being a series of characters, you know, this space is also considered as a character. So now there are one, two characters in between here. Anytime you want to print a, a string literal, you have to surround it with, with, with double quotations, right? We'll talk about that, in, you know, in, in future videos. But anytime you want to print string literal, a string literal, you surround it with double quotations here, right? So what if I say, I will print this, okay, but I want also a double quotation printed. But look at the confusion here. We are saying anything that has to be printed has to be in double quotations. So you can think of this. Well, when this wasn't there, when this double quotation wasn't there, this was the this this marked the beginning of the string that is to be printed, and this marked the end of the string that is to be printed. Now we are saying, okay, I want this to be printed as part of the string. Now guess what? This has th there's a there's confusion here. This has marked the beginning. Of the string to be printed and this has this that we, we meant to print we meant to print on the screen we went to display on the screen has said right now as the as the end of the string to be printed now now there's a problem if you try to run this it's, it's a problem it says you now it gives you all sorts of problems four errors found you know you, you can get confused with this and all we wanted to do was just to display this on the screen see it's a problem right so the double quotation itself, 
right? The double quotation itself is an is a is an is a sp is an escape character. Okay, it's an escape character. It's a special escape character, and we know if we wanted one of those escape characters to to run, we always start it. We always start the sequence, and the backslash starts the sequence. The backslash is is, is one of the. It, it doesn't. It's not printed, right? It starts the sequence. It starts. It's it, it it's it waits for one of those special characters so that it does what they do. So one of them is the double quotation mark, right? So anytime a double quotation follows the back the backslash, it's saying it's saying now it's saying okay I know the I know the double quotation I'm, I I know what what it what it's supposed to do. Anytime it sees it, it's supposed to be printed just like the backslash backslash, just just like the single quotation. Anytime you see the double quotation printed instead of you know, using it for anything else. Just print it, because because th that's the purpose of the, that escape character. Okay, you, we are starting an escape sequence, and we are saying this is one of the escape characters. And any time that is used, it's just printed on the screen. So when I compile this and I run this, we can see that it's printed on the screen. If we wanted to do this again, this now has saved as the beginning of the string to be printed. And this that we wanted to print has saved as the the end of the string to be printed. Now, now, now this it doesn't know what it, what it is because now we have an opening quotation and, and an ending, and it doesn't know what this is. So it's going to give you problems, all kinds of problems. All right. So we know that this is, this itself is one of the escape characters, and anytime we precede it with a backslash, meaning as soon as we type the backslash. The backslash expects one of those special characters, and double, the double quotation happens to be one of them, right? And anytime it's used, its purpose is, is to be printed on the screen. So anytime you wanted to print a double quotation on the screen, you can go ahead and, and first of all start the escape sequence, and anytime it sees this as this double quotation, it, it's it's printed on the screen. That's all. This escape sequence is a special character. It starts the escape. It's this this backslash is a special character. It starts the escape sequence. As soon as you you, you type this, it's not printed on the screen. It's it's waiting for one of those special characters, to, uh, and and waiting for uh, waiting for one of those special characters so that it does what 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 it's what what it's supposed to do. So it waits for one of those special characters like the double quotation. And a double quotation, anytime you use it after the after the forward slash, it's printed on the screen. So that's so that is purpose. Another one is a is a T. It says, okay, I know I know what this T is supposed to do. Anytime I anytime I see this T, this backslash says, anytime I see this T, I'm going to create a tab. Okay, like a TAB. <laughs> yeah. Um, sorry for stressing it too much. I just wanted to make sure you, you know it's clear. All right, the tab, a tab. Okay, I didn't want you to think tap or some a tab, T A B. So anytime I it, it sees the back the back the T. It creates a tab here in between here, so we can see there's a tab. Okay, the tab is somewhere here. Yep, because there's a space here, and there's a space here, so we can see the space. Too. And this is the tab actually. So we can even add multiple ones. Backslash is expecting as uh, it's expecting an ex escape character T. Backslash is expecting an ex escape character T. Okay. Backslash it's expecting an escape character. I say okay, print a double quotation. Backslash is expecting an escape character. I say, okay, print a single quotation. So now the backslash, these backslashes, they understand everything that follows them because they know the T is an escape character. This T is an escape character. Double quotation escape character. It causes it to be printed. This causes a tab to be to be displayed. This causes a, a double quotation to be displayed. Okay, let's try one more. Escape sequence. Something has to follow it, and what and the thing that has to follow it has to make sense. Okay, a backslash. It says, okay. I know what this backslash means. Anytime I see it, I, I, I just have to print it. So now, the tab, one tab is going to, well, space is going to be printed here. One tab is going to be created. Another tab is going to be created. So one tab is going to be created. Another tab is going to be created. A third tab is going to be created. A double quotation is going to be printed. A single quotation is going to be printed. A backslash, once one backslash is going to be printed. A space is going to be printed here. So let's compile this. Run it, and we can see that one like three taps non-stop. We can see that a double quotation is printed here. We can see that a single quotation is printed here. 
you can see that the forward slash, oh, sorry, the backslash is printed here. You can see the space and the line. So I hope this makes sense. We are going to be using this for now. If you're not too clear on it, don't worry. Once we work with more practice, more examples, you're going to get used to it and understand it. So don't worry about it. But I just wanted you to have an idea of it, of escape sequences, because we're going to be using them a lot. They can give you problems when once you get big program, the big programs that print a lot of stuff, and you want to add some of these things, th these things in your display. Um, it, it's it's important to understand this so that you do, you know it's so that you feel comfortable with it and um, and, and and are okay with it. Okay. Okay. So, um, like I said, I hope it makes sense. If it doesn't, please comment down below and I'll do everything to respond to them. Um, thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you next time with the next video. All right then. Bye-bye.